Hey y'all. So uh it is Monday, April 3rd. I can't believe it is April. But it's Monday, April 3rd. Um, don't judge me because I realize I am wearing the sweatshirt from the last clip from Friday. Um, this was a morning where I had to get up and go to the clinic. Um, so I just got up and threw on one of my favorite sweatshirts. Um and of course, this is a She Experience sweatshirt. It's one of my favorites. It's very comfortable. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So I went in this morning for a monitoring appointment. So that's blood work, ultrasound. You saw that I had the, I got with the ovulation stick. I got the smiley, the positive, meaning that we were, or that I was in peak, the peak range for ovulation. So that was good, good to go. And ultrasound went well, blood work, and I just got a call from my IVF nurse saying that everything is right on track. Numbers look good. The ultrasound scan today looked good, but they want me to come to Birmingham tomorrow just because they said like the ultrasound machine that they use here in the Huntsville Clinic, I guess is not as great as the one that they use. Sorry, COA is deciding to sit right in front of my camera. So that might be why my camera is moving, if you notice that. But anyway, the equipment that they use in Birmingham is much better and gets a better image. Um, even though the nurse that did my ultrasound today was able to see the lining of my uterus, it looks good. I have the three lines, like if you know, you know. And it's just so funny because I've been doing this so many times and for so long that I was able to see the thickening of my uterine lining. It's so funny, like now I'm able to spot it um, just because I've been doing this for so long. So before she even pointed it out, I was like, oh, I see it. And she was like, yep, there's the lining. So it's like three lines. Um, it's like white um, compared to the rest of the, the images or the imagery. Um, so yeah, so things look good. I have to go to Birmingham tomorrow, just like last time so that um, they can get just uh, the right shot, the right angle, and make sure. Um, I most likely will be doing my trigger shot. If not tonight, then tomorrow. I still do not have the trigger shot. Uh, my doctor was not in last week to send it through. So the clinic basically is just going to provide me with a trigger shot, which I may be doing, like I said, either tonight, well, excuse me, either tonight or tomorrow. Um, when I get to Birmingham, and then I will probably start progesterone tomorrow. We are talking about a Sunday transfer, which is wild because Sunday is Easter. So I don't know. I just feel like, OMG, like transferring on Easter Sunday. I was thinking like, okay, when are they going to transfer me? Because, you know, because of where my levels are right now and it's Monday. Like last time it was on a Tuesday and then I did my trigger um, that Tuesday night and then started progesterone Wednesday and then for a Monday transfer. Because you usually start five days prior to your transfer. So if I start progesterone tomorrow, that would put me at Sunday. So I was thinking yesterday, like trying to figure out the, the timing, like how is this going to work if, you know, the day five would put me at Sunday, but... She said that they do do some Sunday transfers. They've done them before. So, yeah. I I don't know. I just have a a good feeling about this. I just think it's also like symbolic and it's just kind of wild. Like really a Easter Sunday transfer? How are we feeling about that? Um I don't know, that just made me smile. It really did. Like it just gave me a sense of peace and comfort and reassurance and just joy. Yeah, I never thought it would be. I thought like, okay, maybe they're just gonna wait until Monday. But when she said Sunday, I was like, OMG. And as she's talking, I'm like, let me look at the calendar. I'm like, that's Easter Sunday. So that would be cool because then Sunday, like we just go out there, maybe just make a day out of it, come back and then, you know, start the week. Like Joe doesn't have to take off work or anything. Um, yeah, 
<laughs> that's gonna be interesting so we will see uh i will let you guys know what happens with that but i definitely um have to plan to go to birmingham tomorrow so that's what's going on um in other news i have started my prep for my real estate exam I don't think I've even mentioned that on here. I think I've only mentioned it on Instagram, but I am studying for my real estate exam. I want to be a realtor. Like that's what's next for me. Um, it was a long, I mean, it was like a decision I had been kind of thinking about for a while. And it just, talking with Joe, it just really aligns with our goals as a family. Like we want to get into investing in real estate. We want to at some point turn this home that we're in now into our investment property. Like that's why we bought this home with the intent to turn into an investment property. And with the experiences that I have had in buying homes, like this is our second home that we've bought. This is Joel's third home that he's bought. I just really want to learn more and be able to help other young millennial couples like ourselves, specifically black couples as well. Um, just really get into real estate and learn about it because I just feel like we have been at a disadvantage when it comes to um, financial literacy, learning about investing and real estate and all of that. We've just, as a community, black people, we have been at a disadvantage when it comes to those things. So I would like to learn more, not just for myself and for my family, but so that I can help other people. And yeah, this is something I have been thinking about for a while. Um, it's like now is the perfect time because I'm not tied down to a nine to five. Um, and I know some people go into it while they're doing their nine to five, but this way I can immerse myself fully into real estate. I'll still be doing She Experience. You know, I'm a crazy woman. I'm, I do all the things. So I'll still be doing She Experience, trying to have a baby <laughs> or babies. Um, but yeah, it'll it'll all get done. I have my best friend. She's a mother of twins. She's a real estate brokerage or she has a real estate brokerage. She has a full time job. She does it all. So I've seen women do all the things and still kill it. So. I'm going to do it. Um, but I am excited about it. I took the class back in September. I should have taken the exam by now, but I just, when it comes to standardized tests, ever since I was younger, I just hated them. And it always made me feel like I was dumb or incompetent because I just always struggled so much with it, which is why I have yet to take or retake my social work exam. For those who don't know, I have a degree in social work and I should have my social work license by now, but I took the exam and I actually only missed it by like three points. So it's not like I don't know the material. I just get so in my head when it comes to testing. I'll go back and change answers. I second guess myself. So this is the year I'm conquering that fear, that thinking, the negative thinking that I do when it comes to testing. And I am determined to take and pass this real estate exam. At some point, I'm going to take my social work exam. Like that is a goal. It's actually on my vision board up here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do the things that I have for a long time just been fearful of doing or told myself I couldn't do it or whatever negative self-talk I've been doing that has prevented me from accomplishing those goals, I'm going to do it this year. And I'm saying this so y'all can hold me accountable. So y'all can be like, Sherelle, where, did you take that exam? Did you did you take your test? So um, yeah, so for the next two weeks, I have taken myself off of social media. Like I'm just taking a break because there are times where I can sit and scroll or, you know, taking a break from my content creation, just taking a break from social media for the next two weeks so that I can use my time to just study, like just dedicating my time to study um, morning. And then in the evenings, I have been re, not necessarily retaking the class, but yeah, I guess if you will, retaking the class. So 
from when you start the class, you have a whole year to complete it. So like I said, I started the class in September, so I have until September of this year to complete it. So my instructor allows us to rejoin class sessions as she has them anytime in that year until you, you know, you're, you're ready to take the exam. So I have rejoined the class. I've been going to class in the evenings. I'm studying in the mornings and then I plan to take the exit exam. So exit out of her class, um, not next week, but the week after, and then I'll be able to schedule and take my state exam. So I plan to have all of this done by the end of this month. So pray for your girl. I'm studying. I'm sure I understand. Look at this. So I'm studying and I am uh, getting ready to transfer. So hopefully just nothing but good things come um, from the month of April. So anywho, and yes, I did change my hair. I redid my braids. <laughs> Sometimes when I stressed, I figure out another hairstyle or I like to do my hair or whatever. So this is a result of stress and I love them. But anyway. I will keep you all updated. I'm heading to Birmingham tomorrow. I need to figure out, um, yeah, I need to figure out how I'm going to, not necessarily how I'm going to get there, but if I'm going to go, because I have my dogs. So the last time I went, my mother-in-law and the dogs came with me. So I may do that again, or I may send them to daycare. It just depends. Sometimes daycare is booked. But anyway, I'll keep you guys posted, let you guys know what happens tomorrow. And yeah, let's let's get ready. Transfer number five is happening like within a week, which is crazy. So let's go, baby Gilbert. We're coming for you. <laughs> Hey y'all, so IVF round or cycle transfer number five is officially underway. I went to Birmingham yesterday for an ultrasound and they just wanted to check my lining just for a double check and everything looked good, everything looked perfect. My doctor was really happy with how things looked. So we got the green light to move forward with transfer. And we confirmed that transfer is on Easter Sunday, which is just still so precious. And um, just, I don't know, it just fills me with such peace and joy that we are transferring. We're getting pregnant on Resurrection, Resurrection Day, on Easter Sunday, on the day that Jesus defeated death. Like my mind is just blown with just how strategic and intentional God is. Like if I have never, I know with each cycle or each transfer, I've always said like, this is it, this is it. But no, this is it. It better be it. It has to be it. It is it. Because the fact that we are transferring, first off, it's on a Sunday, which is random. Typically transfers happen during the week. But also I'm a special case because I'm doing a natural cycle. So, you know, it's just based on my body and when I ovulate. But the fact that it just happened to fall on a Sunday, on Easter Sunday, the day where, um, where Jesus, like I said, where Jesus conquered death, where Jesus promises are fulfilled, where Jesus reminded us that he is greater than, than sin. He is greater than the things that we are dealing with on this earth. Um, I just, like I said, I'm just filled with such peace and joy and comfort in knowing that this is our time. And I don't know if y'all remember, but in the last video or whatever video, the previous video, whatever video I talked about the dream with the wolves and how there was four of them. And after the fourth, the last two were defeated. I was able to walk away and, you know, just off into the wilderness. And that was it. Like that was the end of the dream. And I just had this feeling that that was it. Like the, the fourth loss, the last loss that we had was our final loss. And now we are walking into God's promise. Like that is what I feel and believe in my heart. 
And I'm claiming that. I am claiming that this is our time. I'm getting ready to start. Well, I started progesterone yesterday, so I'm getting ready to do my injection today. But I just have so much hope, so much joy, um, so much peace. And I feel like sometimes the enemy will try to creep in, will try to instill these thoughts, these things. But I'm literally clinging to God's promise. The fact that it's on Easter Sunday just reminds me to keep my mind focused on him. Like that's literally all I'm going to be thinking about. The fact that this is happening on Easter Sunday. The fact that this is happening on resurrection resurrection day. The fact that this is happening on the day that Jesus defeated death. The day that represents rebirth and promises being fulfilled. Like that is wild, y'all. That is so wild. And I am so encouraged that God is just being so intentional with this, with this transfer. These babies are going to come forth. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yes, God. I, I just praise you and I thank you in advance for what you are doing in this testimony, this powerful testimony that is being written, this modern day miracle that is being played out in front of us. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. We've been through trial after trial, disappointment after disappointment, God, but we're stronger and we're still standing. God, I thank you. I thank you for using me. Whoo, y'all. I just feel God's presence. I feel him working. I feel like this Things are just getting ready to unfold and unfold quickly. Um, Joe and I are both so excited. I think we're going to just go to Birmingham a day, the day before transfer. So on Saturday and just kind of make like a fun little weekend out of it. Whew. But yeah, God is good, y'all. So here we go. Transfer number five, which also in the Bible, five, I don't know if you know this, but five represents God's grace and mercy. And I mean, come on, come on, <laughs> come on. Five represents God's grace and mercy. We are doing our fifth transfer on resurrection day. Y'all, like God is about to restore, restore everything that we've lost, everything that we feel like was taken from us on this journey, God is about to restore that. <sighs> and not only am I believing that for me, but I'm believing that for you. If you are on this journey or on some type of journey, like I am believing that for us, that God is getting ready to raise up some things, that God is getting ready to restore some things, that God is getting ready to do a rebirth in our lives. And I have just, I've taken this time. So like, like I said, um, I'm taking some time off of social media and just less time watching TV and just really allowing God to just renew my mind every day and just allowing him the space to speak and do what he does best in me. And I just feel so, I don't know, renewed. I feel like I said, I just keep feeling like joy and peace is just what comes to my mind because I see God working. And if I've never seen them before, I certainly see it now. Let's do this PIO shot. And then, um, yeah, I will probably see you guys on transfer day on Resurrection Sunday. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I gave myself a PIO shot today. And look at this blood that squirted out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So much. Looks like a little crime scene. Has anybody had one of these? The squirters? <laughs> we in here.